This is the first Captain America, Isaiah Bradley, grandson. Elijah Bradley, Patriot. They already had their MCU appearance in that damn The Falcon and Winter Soldier. Here go a new story for you. So Elijah's got done whooping all these motherfuckers ass. And he up here talking to Crossbones. And Crossbones talking shit to him. Talking about some, yeah, you ain't the best in the uh, stripes and shit. Is it true that your grandfather was the first super soldier? The first Captain America? Because if it's true as he got his ass like this, psh, your family's a disgrace. Ugh, now I'm just guessing here, but I bet Gramps would be really disappointed in you right now. I heard you retired from being a do-gooder. Well, you should have stayed retired, bro. Mr. Bradley, I understand that you and your family have endured a considerable amount of trial and tribulation. And I also understand how all that might give you pause when it comes to defending a nation that holds you and so many like you in contempt. T'Challa, AKA the Black Panther. With all due respect, sir, I'm done putting on the costume and fighting bad guys for a country that doesn't respect me and mine. Please, call me T'Challa. You do not have to fight for America, but I ask you to consider the protection of your people beyond arbitrary borders, and by the extension, the protection of all humanity. <laughs> this is really sad. You got all dressed up in your spiffy superhero outfit and for what? So the kids you came to rescue can watch you die? This is gonna mess those kids up for the rest of their lives. Luckily, they'll be dead soon. Uh, no! If anyone isn't making it out of here alive, uh, it's gonna be you! Tough talk, little boy. I got your tough talk right here! Here! More like pillow talk, princess. <laughs> this is born, and you're a joke. A bad joke. You calling me a joke? And then a funny one joke. Playtime is over, boy. I promise this will be quick and painful. Sam Wilson, AKA Captain America. You can hide from the truth of who you are and do nothing with your gifts, but you'll have to live with that choice. Spider-Man has this thing. He says, I know Spider-Man, but he makes all the sense in the world. Power is a responsibility. Ugh, it's okay. We all gotta die someday. Ugh. And today's your day, bro. Get ready, cause this is gonna hurt. Ugh. Wait, that's not what he says. I always mess it up. What Spider-Man says is, with great power, there must always come great responsibility. I'm not saying you need to put on a costume and become patron again, fighting for something you're not sure you believe in. But you damn well better believe in something. And whatever that something is, use everything you got to protect. It. Because you have to fight for what matters most to you. Tell me that don't hurt, kid. It's okay to cry. Better men than you have cried like babies when their time came. I won't let you murder those kids. I'm not getting paid to kill these kids. I'm just delivering them to an untimely fate. You're not doing a damn thing, huh? That's one point for you but one broken bone ain't enough to stop me. There's good news and there's bad news, Eli. The good news is that the world and this country have changed since I was your age. The bad news is that for all the change and justice and evil still endure. Steve Rogers, AKA Captain America. Prejudice and intolerance have not gone away, which is why I keep fighting. Maybe that makes me as naive as some people say. Maybe I won't live to see the victory of justice and equality for all. Maybe neither of us will. But you and I definitely won't see a world that is free of oppression if we stop doing what we do. So you see this wall right here that say truth and you see Isaiah Bradley, his grandpa? That's the name of his grandpa's comic run, Truth. Red, white, and black. Where we found out the truth about the super soldier serum and how he became the first super soldier and the first Captain America. What was it you just said? You were gonna make this quick and painful? Painful sounds good. But why be quick? I could do this all day. The kids was looking and he looked at the kids like, ah oh, shit. Lucky for you, that's not my style. And we're ending this on my terms. Come on, let's get you kids somewhere safe. That's the end.